Huge thanks to the gaming PC specialists at Corsair for sponsoring NCIX Tech Tips coverage at CES 2017. We love you. Thanks as well to AMD and MSI. We also love you. Hey guys, we're back in the MSI suite at CES 2017, taking a look at their new Z270 series motherboards and graphics solutions. They've split the MOBOs into four main lines. First, the flagship enthusiast line, led by the gaming M7, with multiple M.2 slots and a full RGB lighting setup. It's even got some armor-type structures designating each PCIe slot, so that's kind of cool. Meanwhile, the performance line, which is a little more pure gaming-centric, is headed up by the Gaming Pro Carbon, which has RGB lighting on the front and a rear strip on the right side, so that's fancy. The crate model also has some six stripes, so that's how everyone else would know you're super cool. These will have support for some premium gaming features, SLI and Crossfire, NVMe drives, and there's a bunch of heat sinks on the boards as well to keep your stuff cool. Moving down the line, the Arsenal series has the Z270 Tomahawk and the H270 Arctic, as well as the MATX Mortar version. These boards have a cool kind of military aesthetic, and they'll give you the features you need for gaming and not a ton else, so they'll be great for the majority of gamers and those who are looking for the best bang for their buck. And finally, the Pro line is intended for, appropriately, professionals, business users and such who are also going to fit in some gaming time as well. So it's got a pretty pure aesthetic with no fancy LEDs or anything, but they'll get the job done. Now we also got to look at two of MSI's AM4 motherboards designed for AMD's upcoming Ryzen CPUs. The X370 X-Power Gaming Titanium had two reinforced PCIe slots, two M.2 slots, and a turbo U.2 port, while the slightly lower end B350 Tomahawk has one reinforced PCIe and one M.2. Now both boards have these hooks around the socket that MSI tells me will be used to attach AMD's Wraith cooler. MSI is only showing these two boards off for now, but apparently most of their Z270 motherboards will have an AM4 companion variant. Now the one thing other than motherboards I wanted to mention in this video is the GUS, MSI's new external graphics enclosure. Still not sure what GUS stands for, they wouldn't tell me. I'm gonna go ahead and say graphics uber sick, dude. Anyways, it uses Thunderbolt 3 via USB Type-C. It's got two fans up top to help the GPU's own fans in, in cooling itself. It's lit by red LEDs, no RGB here, with a 500 watt power supply, so you should be good all the way up to a GTX 1080. Now they were running a demo in the showroom with two Intel NUCs, one with no GPU and one running the GUS. And big surprise, the NUC with the GUS performed much, much better. That's what happens when you stick a Gus on a knock. The Gus will launch in Q2 for, actually, MSI didn't tell me pricing, so that's all we know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the rest of our CES 2017 coverage by clicking the video link on screen, and check us out on Twitter. Our handles are at the bottom. As always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Though or not, it's your life. I ain't telling you how to live.